improve. I, I think we've seen some improvement over the last two years in this rebuilding process. Um, uh, we want to be able to get to a winning record this year, and I think that's a goal that, that we certainly can be able to do. Um, and when we get to the GLIAC season, not only be able to compete night in and night, night out with good teams, but also have an opportunity in each one of those to win. Um, and it always comes down to that. It comes down to the ability to, to, to win basketball games, and I think we have a, a group right now that can do that. The off-season has been great for us. Uh, the hiring of Henry Briscoe as a strength and training coach has been awesome. Um, I think the transformation of our players in their bodies and what they look like right now um, is due really to what he's done. Um, I, I also give our guys a lot of credit. A number of them stuck around this summer. Um, and uh, we have a look of a different team when you, when you see us as compared to last year. The enjoyable thing about our team right now um, is we're going to be able to go up-tempo. I, I love to play that way. Uh, these past couple of years, we have not been able to, to be the type of up-tempo team that we've been in the past. Um, but with the increase of, I think, some just dynamite players that, that are young and, and some returning veterans that really start to understand it, um, I, I think we'll be able to look to get up and down the floor way more than we have in the previous past couple of years. Um, and and al along with that, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to establish an identity of, of, of having toughness, of being able to really defend and rebound like we're supposed to. And um, again, in this preseason, the results have been very positive. The last year, uh, to, to be able, first of all, to beat your rival was big for us, um, especially there it hadn't been done in a number of years. Um, and, and again, two well-coached teams, two, uh, two teams that are always perennially at the top of, uh, of the conference. Um, if you're going to succeed, you have to be able to beat those teams that are at the top. And uh, I was very happy to see us, us, us get a couple of big wins like that. I think momentum moving forward helps, uh, but, but again, it, it all comes down to what are you going to do night in and night out. Um, this conference is incredibly tough, and what, what can we do every night to be consistent with how we play? And that, that's the biggest question we need to answer. We have veterans now, um, unlike the past couple of years, that, that have two years experience at least in this conference. Um, and we will lean heavily on them. Um, we expect big things out of the guys that are returning. We have a nice core group that, uh, that logged a lot of minutes last year um, and have a lot of experience. And our expectations are that they're going to really carry this group. And then our freshmen complement what the upperclassmen are doing. Well, I, I, ex I expect that we'll have a number of them have breakout seasons. We need each player to improve where they were from last year. Um, I think Jordan Perez really had an outstanding freshman year, um, and I really see him building on that. Um, he's put a lot of work in. I think he's really going to have a huge impact on us. Um, you know, Terry Nash is a senior, uh, again, a great defender. We need to see more of him on the offensive end, but I think he's going to be a leader for us and really be able to do things. Um, and, and then along with that, we really need to see Marcus Hall and Donnell Seegers, uh, Kenny Williams all make huge strides. Um, and then now that freshman group, uh, we're really looking for big things out of Isaiah Johnson and Nava Eccles, uh, two guys that will be playing and playing big minutes for us right from the beginning. State. Tremendous opportunity for us to go play two perennial top 25 programs in Division I. Um, it's certainly a few games that our guys have marked on their calendar. Um, I think it's great for recruiting. Um, it's also an opportunity early on to really see what good teams do and what we're going to have to do to be successful. Um, I think it helps with practice because, again, uh, that monotony practice won't be there because you're playing some, some huge competition games early on in the season. So we're looking forward to the opportunity and really can't thank the coaches enough for giving us that opportunity. How about everyone? Uh, every game you play in this conference is as is, is tough as it can be. It's, it's an incredibly well-coached team. Um, the talent level, uh, especially in the north, is unbelievable. Um, and it comes down to those 22 games if you're not ready to play, you can lose to anyone, um, and uh, if, if you don't have the desire to go out and play, it's going to be a tough struggle for you. So um, unlike having just one red-lettered uh, game, we're, we're, every one is a big one for us, and, and we need to find that consistency. Again, I probably said it about five times, but the consistency of effort to go out every time and do what we need to do. Uh, our team goals this year is just to win more games, play as a team, and get to know each other, get a better chemistry than we've had in the past, and just take on from there. Okay, players uh, that stood out this offseason is, of course, like the older kids, which is Terry Nash, uh, we got Alex Munster back, um, we have Marcus Hall, then we have uh, Jordan Perez returning, and then we bring in some exceptional freshmen who can come off and 
really start off as a start the team is like a good atmosphere. It's pretty tough playing in the conference like the Gleag because uh, every team is literally good. There's like no bad teams, so every game is a it's a dog fight. You have to fight the entire game, and every like mistake counts. So you just got to be on your p's and q's basically.